Hey, so I'm finally at my gate waiting to board to go to Malaysia, which is on my bucket list as well. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Still doesn't feel real. I really love this airport though. Like, immigration took, I kid you not, two minutes. Two minutes. Baggage drop off, seamless. Everything was perfect and i love that they actually have real trees inside of the airport according to the seat numbers shown on your boarding passes i'm such an emotional person because tell me why i was crying on this flight and how beautiful this was like if you see that nighttime like all the ships light up i saw it on my flight from korea it was amazing so we just made it to malaysia the flight was so short it felt like 30 minutes but it was about about 40 minutes to an hour and I didn't even feel when the plane touched down or when it took off so that goes to show it was a very smooth flight and now I'm heading towards immigration so immigration was also very quick the airport was very confusing probably my least favorite airport to be honest but the first thing that I did after baggage claim was to exchange some money not a lot I think I did just 60 US so when I exited the plane, I realized that they had some SIM card booths along the way, but they do not take card, which is so weird. They only take cash. And I think they're really missing out because if they did take card, they would get more money. But anyway, don't worry about that. There are other SIM card booths in the airport. So what I did was to just exchange some money at baggage claim. I got my bags, exchange money, and then when you exit baggage claim you'll see like um more sim card shops on your right side I went to the hot link because i saw someone else recommend it can i have your phone man mobile phone sure. so after getting a sim card i tried to find where the airport rail or the klia airport rail was this airport was so confusing it was so confusing it looks like a mall it looked like i don't even know it was just a lot it was a lot so i ended up buying a ticket from kluk <laughs> and it comes with a voucher for this tea place so i could get tea for this airport rail there are two platforms platform a is the non-stop train to the city and platform b is the train that you take if you want to stop somewhere. <laughs> Good morning <laughs> guys I was so tired yesterday I made some mac and cheese and I fell asleep just straight straight to bed I couldn't even show I couldn't do anything I just straight to bed and <laughs> this might be a bit random but this is why I always bring like some tin stuff some snacks some something that I can eat or cook with something simple on trips with me some tongue some something so that in cases where I get to the Airbnb late or I'm too tired I can always just make something I always get like an Airbnb that has like a kitchen or one that you know come with breakfast or something that I can you know make use of I can see the tower from here Petronas tower which is great this airbnb is huge and affordable like it was cheaper than the one i got in curacao for our entire condo which is crazy with a pool with a pool may i say do you some you see when i get rich one day there will be signs <laughs> there will be some. but like i'm going to have to do a tour i'm going to have to do a tour of the, uh, up here I didn't even know <laughs> they have two bedrooms like I thought this would have been like a study area because when when I looked at the pictures it kind of showed that oh there's a desk here and chairs so I was planning on doing study in there but I might not just study at the dining table so the plan for today is to stay in for half of the day and then the other half of the day I'll go out and explore I've also been a bit shy when it comes to vlogging with this camera at least I, most of 
most of the time I use my phone but today I'm going to just try and use my camera because that's why I purchased it in the first place so I did my hair in two I put this clip that I got from Sheen and the headband from my store and this top also from Sheen it's hot outside like I can already tell by the window so I'm going to take an umbrella with me and it's gonna rain so so I ordered a grab from my Airbnb and I took that grab <laughs> to Kwai Chai Hong which is a hot spot in Kuala Lumpur I was really enjoying the car ride too because I saw a lot the street they had a lot of KK marts later down in the video I'll be explaining why the KK marts were so important on this particular trip This is the entrance gate to Kwai Chai Hong. It was hard to miss. <laughs> and when you first enter, you'll see this beautiful lady. And I loved her shoes. I really liked her shoes for some reason. basically a very simple lane with a lot of Chinese artwork and Chinese music playing. I realize that I have a noodle shop down here but it's not open. It's just a lane for pictures. So, but it's really nice as in the paintings are nice. It's not nothing big. And of course I have a Chinese people them where I take picture and make them a block right behind me, in front of me. But I'm already used to that. In this area I saw places that sold tea, I saw cafes, bars, there's just a lot. Even chocolatiers or chocolate chocolate cafes, I don't know what to call them. I really, really wish I brought a tripod. I wanted some pictures of myself, but I was just too scared to ask anybody else around me. And I also like this pole with stickers. I wish I could put stickers there, but they're really nice to look at. At this point, I'm the queen of walking through sketchy alleyways. <laughs> but I'm heading to Petalin um, Street Market now to see what I have. This is one big market that sells many different things and I saw a KK Mart. I was trying to get my touch and go card but the guy was telling me that it cost $30 which I know it cost 10 so I ended up leaving. So I finally got my bus card, which also works as a subway card. Yeah, so I got it from a KK shop. They're pretty common in Malaysia. They're like there. It looks like 7 Eleven basically. So I got it for 10 Malaysian bring it. Another man was trying to sell me for 30, like my idiots. But man sense. So I went to another one and I got it for the right price. And then I topped it up. 
The lady said about 50 would be good for a week. So I put on 10 because I want to see how far 10 ringed it can, can get me <laughs> before uh, I top up again because I use grab a lot because it's convenient. But I attached it to my Scotia card and Scotia declined my <laughs> declined my last attempt. So I had to pay with cash. So it's always good to have backup cash or like a different card or something. Because Scotia oh lady. Scotia did me dirty. I'm in Chinatown. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> to be very honest, I just got dropped off at a place that looked interesting. Like I put that on my grab thing, and then I'm just walking around to try and get myself get myself familiarized with the area. Ah, yes, I am in Chinatown because I see like a big sign saying it. Oh, but this is what a KK shop looks like. No, no, no. Oh, I don't speak Malaysian. Uh, yeah. Chinese temple, nice temple. Uh, no, no. So at this point, I was trying to find my bus stop, and I saw this very interesting tea shop with a bicycle on the wall, and I realized that you know what, Malaysia is a melting pot of culture. It's just like Singapore. So this is how you take the bus. First you're gonna look for the bus stop and the buses tend to look like this and they have the numbers on it. And first they let off the passengers at the back and then they'll open the doors for the persons that are coming onto the bus. Now that you have your touch and go card, you can use that to pay for the bus. They do not take cash. If you don't have a card, your goose get cooked yes so you're gonna tap it and it deducts um the i like three dollars i think and then you find your seat also remember that when you're leaving the bus you should tap again came to malaysia to see malaysia and so that is why the bus was the most appropriate mode of transportation for me walking towards um, a cafe that I saw that seemed interesting and it's close enough to the art gallery and so I'm trying to find it now the place is hot <laughs> I mean I expected it to be hot because it's so close to Singapore but I would say Singapore is hotter than Malaysia it really is manageable Another reason why I don't really use my camera that much is because it can't seem to get the colors right sometimes. Like sometimes it looks overexposed and sometimes it looks weird or grainy and and so I haven't figured out the right settings as yet, but one day I will. is so aesthetic and cute oh my goodness ah. So far this restaurant did not disappoint it looks better in person I trust me like it's really pretty if I was to go like on a date like a cute date in Malaysia although I just did I went on a solo date but if I was to go on like a date date with my boyfriend or I would definitely recommend here to other people because it's it's really nice 
it's a really nice chill spot so So when I was coming here, I decided to take the bus because I wasn't so familiar with the train and then I wanted to see more as well. But apparently, the MRT station is about a minute walk from the restaurant. This is what it looks like. name of the art museum that I was trying to find was Balai Seni Negara, I think. And this is right around the corner from it, the art hospital. So if you see the art hospital, you're on the right track because there's a little path at the side that leads to the museum that I was looking for. this photo wall because I didn't know that it was actually made out of tin cans until I was walking by it which is so cool I love that all art can be interpreted in different ways like this one that to me looks like a man sitting on a log this art gallery had about three floors and I went into almost all of the exhibitions and I eventually fell asleep in one of them <laughs> But just because I was just so comfortable, they also have a bookstore and it was really nice. I would love to come back one day to see the different exhibitions. I also really liked this pirate themed exhibition that I had on the first floor and this that seemed to be moving and also this fish map, a big fish made up of maps and <laughs> this colorful room that got me overstimulated, but it was worth it. So my bus is about to arrive. I just love how I can track the buses from Google Maps. That's so convenient. Here she is. And here I am, tired and in need of a nap. So many people are going to use the MRT, not bus. Oh. I really enjoyed taking the bus number 402 because I saw so much. I had planned to see the Petronas Twin Tower after this and I did but <laughs> I didn't leave the bus because I was too tired but it counts, I, I saw it, I saw it, I took pictures and my bus driver was telling me that this was a hot spot for picture taking and vlog making and TikTok making <laughs> but it was really nice, I felt like I got a good tour of the city and i was so content with that so i was sitting by the window and taking pictures of the interesting looking buildings people watching it was perfect i just came back from kk mart and i got a few things that's a big grocery haul. It's just like, you know, a couple things to last me for the day, for the week, for the four days that I have left. A Pepsi, because I'm my mother's daughter. This for tonight, I got this um, curry chicken bun. I don't know how to feel about it. Um, I just going to try it because I like curry and I like chicken, so. I've never seen them sell in packaged before. Mm -hmm. 
and I got some bread because I have a lot of tin items that I've been traveling with that I want to get rid of so that I have lighter luggage yeah. oh my goodness today was a great day today was a fulfilling day and for tomorrow I shall be resting and studying <laughs>